Hey, it's your boy, Ron Big Black Garrett. I just want to come to you today. First, let me check my angle. Uh, my daughter Sarah's been getting on to me about, Dad, uh, the angles you use, I can see up your nose. I can see the top of your head. Well, look, there it is. Freshly cut, so we're good to go. I hope it blinds you, Sarah. You'll be okay. Uh, no, that's just pulling back the curtain a little bit. Uh, my baby girl is like Mama Junior. She 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 does like her mother, and they're always trying to tell me she does the same thing with her husband. She she's always getting into his butt about stuff, and and we need that to an extent. But her husband's like me, eh? And you know, we just go along with it, <laughs> you know, because we're still gonna do what we want to do. <laughs> so anyway, that's just pulling back the curtain a little bit. My baby girl, my oldest baby girl, is more like me. She don't give a rip about nothing. Life is for her enjoyment um, as long as she lives it for the Lord. And uh, so anyway, that's pulling back the curtain a little bit. Uh, my wife right now, I guarantee you when she's watching this, she's shaking her head like, yeah, yeah, he's telling the truth. He don't give a rip. So and I told you when I started this channel that it was not going to be like everyone else's channels. I'm going to get on here and I'm going to talk about keto. I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about powerlifting. I'm going to talk about all these different subjects. Uh, I'm going to try not to talk about politics too often because um, that's just something that I've sort of gotten away from. Even though people that know me from the past know that um, I, I study politics and I study history, I study the Constitution, I study slavery, I study all of these different avenues, but I'm going to try to get away from that a little bit. But today's topic is more because one of my kids from youth camp actually um, posted, and he took a little bit of flack for it, um, he posted about um, the minimum wage not being something that was designed to help you make a house payment and all these other things. And you know what? The young brother was correct. I was really, I'm really proud that he was in my cabin in Verge uh, Youth Camp because, you know, I've seen him make a, a few posts like this that goes against the grain where people are trying to say, oh, minimum wage has got to be this and minimum wage has got to be that. Look, minimum wage was not designed to, um, uh, to, to have you live like a CEO. Minimum wage is an entry-level point wage Mostly for younger people that are just starting out to win the workforce with no experience. Uh, it's not designed for you to live extravagantly off of. You're going to have to pinch pennies. Um, there are some people that are older that are on minimum wage due to circumstances not their own and sometimes due to circumstances their own. Um, you know, that's why I tell you kids now when you're in school, I tell you, hey, you better be studying. You better get your work done. Quit staying up playing these video games all night. What you're doing right now affects your future. There's free money out there for school. I teach this every Tuesday night. I tell them I know most of my kids' histories, and I know what they're doing at home, and I tell them, don't come up to me at 20 years old telling me you can't do this and you can't do that, and all I can do is get a job at Burger King and all that. Hey, nothing wrong with that. But I'm going to be like, you remember when you was in the eighth grade and I told you to quit farting around in school? to do your homework, quit bringing in bad grades in. It's going to cost you one day. Well, see, you were withdrawing money out of your future bank account when you were farting around in school. Every time that you're in school and you're messing around in class and you're not doing, you're trying to be prideful and not work and not do all these things, you are withdrawing money out of your future bank account. That's what I teach on Tuesday nights. And that's what I try to teach uh, in every youth setting that I'm in. I actually teach that to parents too. I tell them, hey, you know, you, a lot of you are living an enabling lifestyle, too. You're expecting the federal government and, and uh, local government to do for you what you can do for yourself. You know, minimum wage is not supposed to be uh, a, a, a wage that, that's why it's called minimum. It's a minimum wage that you should be able to live on. But like I said, it's really designed for people that are younger, that are entering the workforce, or people that have no experience that are entering the workforce, to be able to get their foot in the ground so that they can gain the experience, gain the knowledge to move up the ladder to be able to, to get more money. What this means is that, like me, you may actually have to work two jobs. Hey, ah, no one wants to hear that, do they? Tough. You do what you need to do, especially when you're young because you have the energy to do it. There were times when I worked three jobs. When, even when I joined the military, I sometimes had a side hustle. I'd earn an extra $200 uh, 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 a week sometimes with a side hustle. 
going against Army regulations because I wasn't supposed to be doing some of the stuff I was doing. But you know what? I had my side hustle. And what it did was it made up the gap that I was receiving from uh, minimum wage, and it made me go up, uh, go up into a higher class, but almost middle class as far as my wage went. You do that over a year's time, and, and, and you can up your progress until you can get to the point to where you're making more money. That's what you do. See, I'm glad. I, I always used to be upset that I grew up the way I did sometimes, but in some measure, it made me a better and stronger man because when you struggle, um, like just like in the gym, when you struggle underneath some heavy weight, your muscles have no choice but to get bigger as long as you can. You don't quit. And that's what happens. A lot of times, though, your parents are creating an atmosphere where your kids, they develop a mentality of quitting unless they get what they want. That's on you. You don't have to sit up there and give them everything. Uh, my kids know in this house right here, Everything in here, including what's in their rooms, no matter if they bought it or not, is mine because whatever they bought is subsisted off of what the money that I earn because they're not paying rent. They're not paying for water. They're not paying for electricity. So I don't care if it is yours and you bought it with your money. You're, you got a discount because you're living here. There's things that I can't buy because I have no one to subsist off of. So I teach them the true picture of economics by allowing them to know that whatever they have in this house can be taken away from them. And you may not, may or may not get it back, you know, depending on the seriousness of the offense. My kids will tell you, this is how they were raised. It sounds tough, but let me tell you something. What has it done? It's created young adults that don't even have to call me hardly for anything. Even when they get in trouble, they know. Because they know certain kind of trouble, dad's not helping out. You screwed your money over, you have to figure it out. You know, you always have the option to come back here and live here, but you're going to come back here and it's going to be like living living a teenager again. You ain't going to come and go as you please. So no one wants to come back here, you know? But they know that you can't come running to dad every time that you got your hand, uh, that, that you do something stupid. I, I'm going to tell you, figure it out, because that's what I had to do. And you know what it does? It keeps them with the attitude of maybe I shouldn't make this decision or maybe they'll think about the decision, what they're doing with their money, uh, because it's a consequence to be paid. And, and, and you know what? I, I, I'm, it sounds mean, but they'll even tell you now that they've grown and they have matured some, that it was the best thing for them. The best thing that ever happened to me one time was I had a family member that told me no, when I needed some money. Um, and at the time, I thought it was a little cruel, but it was one of the best things that's ever happened to me because I really didn't need the money, and and that person knew that. Uh, it was a, a want that seemed like a need, and they had the wisdom to see that, but it was the best thing that ever could have happened to me because it made me go out and get it to prove to them I could do it. Well, you, you think you would, you know, my thought at the time was they'd be upset, but no, they were happy because I figured it out. And that's what we need to start doing as parents. Parents, quit letting your kids off the hook. Make them clean their room. They don't clean their room. Let it be repercussions. Don't keep telling them you're going to take them games and stuff away. Take them away. And don't give them back. Yeah, they're going to be upset, but no one told you being a parent is going to be easy. Quit allowing your kids to rule the roost. You can make a change. I don't care how old your kids are. And, hey, some of them, may it may suck. It may get bad for a while. Uh, but at least you'll be back in control. You'll be able to look at yourself and know that you're doing the best that you can. But some of you can't look in the mirror and say that right now. Heck, as me, as good as I thought I was at that, I still failed. But you know what? I still was doing my job as a parent. Them kids need to understand that it's not always about them. And it's not always about getting something for free. The entitlement mentality is run amok in this country. is epidemic. We think that everyone's supposed to get food stamps. Everyone's supposed to get welfare. That's not what that stuff was designed for. And if we don't teach our kids today that there's hard work involved in getting to where, where uh, we've gotten, we failed. And that's part of what I wanted to talk to you about today. Uh, I don't like going much more than 10 minutes, but I just want to let you know this. I love you. If you have any questions, comment to me. And I'll see you on the other side of this. I love you. Peace.